I'm going to freak you guys out and give you the link before I even start randoming. That's a first. What have you noticed? The card stock I like? All right, fellows, let's do this, bad boy. Hello, breakers. Is anybody even over there? Hello, breakers. What up? Here we go, Diamond King, six boxer. Thank you guys for waiting. And thank you for buying it. Oz, how's it feel to be a married man? Any different? Six and two is eight. How was the wedding, by the way, Oz? Been kind of hectic when you come in here, but now we can see how your wedding day went, dude. What was your most favorite fun thing at the wedding that you did? Eight times. Good luck. Ah, kill switch engage, dope. Hey Phil, you know Undisputed Wrestling comes out this summer. A new Undisputed, and they're putting extra hits in them. I think, if I read it correctly. We're doing some clear hit boxes with that. I'm gonna do some more clear hit WWEs. I'm going to do some clear hit Star Wars with uh, Masterworks in it. Spreadsheets in the room. Yeah, they guaranteed. There was only one auto guaranteed. Auto or a relic in there. But now I think you get an extra. Either an extra auto or an extra relic. Guaranteed. In each uh, box. Which is pretty dope.
Here we go, fellows. Six boxes of the brand spanking new Diamond Kings. Let's find some Chris Bryan autos. Who has the Cubbies? Yerks! Oh, he ain't getting those. He is not getting those. I will bribe him with this Reggie Jackson one of one. As she got T Lanta. <laughs> Bobby C. My man, what up, Bobby C? Good to see him here. He had a bad run one night with some NT multi sport case. Didn't get one hit. Of course, I hooked him up. Does anybody wish to trade? We need six. They're going to take out three of them. We're going to take out six. One, two, three, four, five, six is out. I'm going to take out two is out. Which was actually box two. Uh-oh, this is number two. And number five. Out. 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 Those I will use for kings and queens. How about that? No, I think everybody rolled out. It's all right. Diamond Kings isn't as sexy as National Treasures or something. Do, 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 do. Prepare to be astonished. Kafer, I think you got a big hit tonight somewhere. Maybe it was National Treasures? Something. I thought I remember calling your name. What up, B-Town? This is the last break of the night. B-Town, everyone's over in Twitch. We've been using Twitch now. Do you know how to get to Twitch? Oh, yeah, maybe it was the Piscotti. It wasn't a monster, but it was a cool hit. Heck, it was a hit. Elements, elements of royalty signatures, limited litho sigs materials. That's what we want. See, this Diamond Kings is cheap. It's like 75 bucks a box or so, but I'll tell you, you can get some pretty dope hits out of it. Well, Grammy goes, Grammy plays, go, Grammy goes both ways. Grammy goes both ways, from what I hear. He goes, he goes Twitch, and he goes Breakers. B-Town, my man. How goes it, man? Jacob DeGrom to 99. That kind of looks like the uh, sales sheet card, doesn't it? Matty R.
Ted Williams to 99. A one on one blocker for Grammy's kid. See, there's the regular Chris Bryant. Andrew McCutcheon. I tell you what's cool. Severino, Kepler. I tell you what's cool is this McCutcheon. Do you want to know why it's really cool? Because it's a one of one. Only one of these in the world. Andrew McCutcheon, one of one. Michael Flippin McManus. Dude a rolling. A cutch. One of one. Good job, dude. Kapooya! Kapooya! Ring a ding ding, baby. Where you is? And for that reason is why guys like Duncan and Birdo love the Diamond Kings. You can buy a couple boxes of it and get a one of one for 60 bucks. I don't even think McManus is watching. I think he watches the videos, so. What up, McManus? Congrats. Here's an artist proof. Caleb Cowart to 99. Ken Griffey. I think this could be the weekend I remodel. After freeform night. There he is. Wait, that's McManus? Thought that was Jeff Gwynn. How are you, JG Forever? Okay, got it. Wakey, wakey. Nice and bakey. Well, I got a Jeff Gwynn who has a similar screen name. Schwarber. Well, congratulations, dude. Thanks, McManus, for buying in, dude. Thanks for buying into the $16 break. Getting a one of one. This is Oz's brother. Kyle Waldrop is Michael's brother. Mr. and Mrs. Waldrop. Andrew McCutcheon, one of one. I guess, the, oh, it's black, I think. I can't tell the difference, though, I mean, because they're black. Steelers, I mean, the pirates are black and yellow, so. Well, I just did say a, a, a musical song. Black and yellow. There's Brad. Kirby Pocket. Not to be confused with Kirby Buckets.
Heine Grow. Maybe I have to start PC in that guy. Jung Ho Kang, another Pirates for you, dude. Pirates lighten it up. McManus. 69 to 99. Or 9 of 99. Way to go, McManus. And we still just have, this is only the second box. Zach Lee to 99. Dodgers. Here's Brad. Rizzo, get Rizzo, I said, to 99. Cubbies, Rizzo to 99. Another Arietta. How many different cards of Arietta are there? Jiminy Crickets. I've counted at least three or four of them. Well, I'm going to tweet it out and say, Brad, will you please sign this? Solaire Mini. Finishing up box two here. You Darvish Mini. Getting a lot of Ah, good old Pee Wee Reese. You can always count on Pee Wee Reese. Brooklyn. I forget where Brooklyn goes. Dodgers. Nate knows. I know. Ooh, a Honus Wagner to 99. What if that was a bat relic? Honus Wagner bat relic. One of one. Oh, man.
What up, B-Town? Well, we just pulled a one of one McCutcheon. Um, we did Legacies. It was okay. No, no monsters or booklets, but we like the cards. But the checklist is a little tight. We did a National Treasures case tonight. Nice one of one shield out of there. Shorebird of twenty five. Artist proof Schwarber. Yeah. I would categorize them as how they're, you know, just average. Average. I wish someone was here to open these. Be honest. Another Sano to 99. Dope. Studio Portraits. Minnesota. Another one for McManus. He's just ruling this break. Did you see this, McManus? Your Miguel Sano. Hey, keep an eye out for breaks, McManus. I'm going to be doing a lot of baseball. This football's done after flawless. At least for a month or so. <laughs> Frankie Crosetti, artist proof. New York, 99er. The babe. Seems like a fun set to collect if you collect sets. The Babe Ruth little parallel set. Upside down Ozzy. Pretty neat. What up, B Town? You. You have the Mets and the Yankees. You got the Yankees and the Mets, so you have all of New York. Thanks. Bo Jackson. Tomorrow night, Kings and Queens, Mixers, Gypsy Queen, Diamond Kings, Friday, Flawless, Flawless Friday with Flawless and Diamond Breaks, Saturday, Saturday, Freeform Saturdays, I need to get Yerkes to make me a prod, uh, thing. B-Town, you like baseball more than football or what? Or do you like it all? And I'm curious, just curious question, because I love, you know, I'm very passionate about my business. I notice you and other guys, you kind of pop in and out, you know, breaks. You kind of come and go. I'll be like, weeks will go by, and I'm like, oh, B-Town, there he is. Oh, McManus, he's in. 
and I really don't care for real, but do you are you buying in breaks everywhere and you just like look for a special break or you just want to change quote tables and try somewhere else? Do you just take a break altogether? Do you see certain products you like and they're like, well, I'm going to buy in that? Is it price? Is it promo? What makes what makes you like what catches your eye besides my awesomeness? Michael Conforto. Nope, just here. Baseball good, guys, because it is baseball season. And as you know, <laughs> I love football, so it was very football heavy here, but I've been kind of working on relations with tops. And, you know, they are baseball, so. Rizzo to 99. Dope! That blue pinstripe is so much better than a Yankee one. That goes to Matt Yerkes. It's even got a little dirt on it. I got news for you, Yerkes. You ain't getting that card. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited to do a lot of baseball. Cool. I know it is. You can get, you definitely can. Well, I don't ever have to worry about pricing because I know my prices are what, what, in my opinion, what they should be realistic. Basically, I'm a one man show here. I mean, Nate does sorting and packing and shipping, but other than that, it's just me at home. I don't have a storefront, I don't have a dozen staff members, and I wish I did, and I plan to as I grow, but for now, it's just me. So I'm able, I just try to be like retail, you know, right around the retail price. I mean, you can't sell directly at retail because you have PayPal fees and, and shipping costs. Who's this dude? Kettle Marte? Any relation to Starlin or whatever his name is? Baseball dudes? Oh yeah, I'm just I'm lit up. Rambling 299er. What up, Will? Seattle. Seattle. Johnny K. He is good. Thanks, B Town. I know you're just saying that, but it's okay. <sighs> Armrest, just a minute. <sighs> Thank you very much. That's really nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's really nice. Thank you. Well, that too, Will T. Yes, I am drunk, and I am correct that the Cubby's blue pinstripe with Schwarber or Rizzo, whoever it was, is much cooler than... A Yankee one. <laughs> Will T, you know I lived in, in the Baltimore area for a couple years, so um, the Yankees, it's kind of a rivalry that I don't think many know about unless you live there. But, um, man, I'll tell you, I almost start, stopped going to games when the Yankees came to town because it just turned into fights, literally fights at the bars. Over freaking teams. Fights. Riots when the Yankees come to Baltimore. Maybe not as much anymore, but it used to be like that. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're, I'm sure you're aware you're a Yankees fan. But I'm saying outside of Yankees fans and Orioles fans, I don't know that it's like a well-known rivalry. Or is it? Oh, you like the the extended hits and 
Just a little extra stuff I do. Thanks. I mean, guys, it's really not that difficult to do extras and add-ons. It's, it's really not. But for the customer, it means a lot. You know, it gives them that little extra fun, that little extra hope of the randomizer. Most of my customers, I believe, are true collectors. So they're happy with, like, a little prize pack of cards or something. It doesn't have to be like, oh, let's give away a sick, you know. They just like getting cards. Addison Russell. Look at all these Cubs, dude. Look at all these Cubs you're not going to get, Yerkes, to 99. I got a bunch of Yankees I will give him. Caleb Cowart. He is Los Angeles. Look at this. Cool. Look at that cool dude. Poor guy. Rookie of the year. Historic franchise. Good ball player. I'd say he's a pretty good looking dude in general. Tens and tens of millions of dollars. Wow. Tough life. <laughs> Playing baseball all summer. Tough, tough, tough. Let me tell you. What a life. There's Cal Ripken, hon. There's Phil Law. I don't know why, but that reminds me of you, Phil Law. Some, just for some reason, your picture on your Twitter. I know that's weird, but I'm weird, so... Did anybody see any? I haven't had a chance to watch. I don't have time anymore. But what's the... Uh... <laughs> All you people can kiss my butt in October, okay? I'm tired of hearing about the hundred and some years World Series curse. I mean, geez. So what? It took a long time. It's not a long time now. I suffered through it. I lived in Wrigleyville during their stretch of suckiness. Of all the times for me to live five-minute walking distance from Wrigley Field is when they sucked. Well, they had a little mini run in 2007. Xander Bogarts. Yeah, man. I could go literally from my front door to the Wrigley sign in less than five minutes. Walk. It was a lot of fun. They suck so bad. We just get to go to Cubs games, sit in dope seats for like 10 bucks. <laughs> Thanks. I think. Uh... Like, you want to go to the Cubs game? Yeah, we got seats in the lower section behind home plate. They're $10. Okay. We could spend $30 and sit on the bricks back then. Uh, yeah, see, I don't know. I am sucky at years and stuff like that. I just remember I won tickets to the playoffs from the website. Me and Heather went. I I didn't even win them. I had to buy them. I won the opportunity to buy them. They were 70 bucks. And, um, we had to stand. Standing room tickets. And it was cold. Like, well, we're here at a playoff game with the Cubs at Wrigley, but it's freaking freezing. <laughs> they got their asses handed to them, so I'm pretty sure we left in like this fifth inning, sixth inning. Rizzo! Get Rizzo, I said. That was the Kerry Wood years, 07. Sammy Sosa, 
Derek Lee, um, Ryan Terrio, Maddox, no, not Maddox, Aramis Ramirez, and it all went to hell. Tom Murphy, autograph for Colorado. Who's that Colorado kid now that's everyone's freaking out about? Matty R with a combo hit. Yeah, Ramos Ramirez. S I hate seeing his face. I think he went to play for the Brewers. How about Derek Lee? Whatever happened to him? Ryan Terrio. Who's the other guy's outfielders? Blonde haired dude. Scott. Something. Soriano. Soriano. Soriano was lead off. I think that's the year Kerry Wood hit a home run in the playoffs. Bradley? Is it Bradley? Giovanni Soto. Catcher. Remember Giovanni Soto? Nope, wasn't me. I can't remember that guy's name. I'm going to have to go back and look. Maybe he was second base. Oh, Carlos Zambrano. Oh, he was awesome. Especially when he would get pissed off and charge batters and fight them and stuff. Carlos Zambrano had a lot of potential, but he would... I mean, obviously, I don't know him personally, but from viewing and watching him, he would get himself so emotional and so emotional. He would just start throwing balls and skipping off the ground and get all pissed off and angry. Like, calm down, Carlos. Calm down, dude. I better take a trip out to the mound. Calm him down. Oh, yeah. Oh, Fuki Domi! I was at his first ever opening day game one year. We went to opening day. And uh, Fuki Domi, he, I don't know if he homered or not. He did. He might have got his, a hit at his first at bat. Fuki. <laughs> Fuki Domi, yeah. Nice. I love it. Oh, Milton Bradley. <laughs> Fukudomi. Wow, I can still see the millions of Fukudomi jerseys that everyone used to wear. It was like he was a second coming. Gosh, Fukudomi. <laughs> <coughs> this best was his interviews. Poor guy. Didn't speak a lick of English. Everybody had a Fukudomi jersey. I can still see it. We went opening day when he was there his first year. It was like Fukudomi Central. Everyone had signs and Koso Fukudomi maybe or something like that. Kosuko Fukudomi. This Diamond King stuff is tricky, though, man. I'm telling you, it's like you'll be, we'll just be ch chatting here, opening up stuff, and I'll be like, "Whoa, Babe Ruth," or some sick thing. Kosuke. Mm -hmm. 
So I, we're shipping everything in this break, I believe I said. Jeez, another McCutcheon numbered to 99. Gaylord Perry. This guy was supposed to be big. I remember trying to get all his cards last year. Rice Snyder's, I think it was Bowman. Bowman Jumbo, maybe. or Not Bowman Jumbo, but... Yeah, Bowman. Kind of looks like Carlos Zambrano, doesn't it, Yellen? When he would get a strikeout. Oh, Marmol. No, I tell you who used to drive me freaking nuts is when Dempster used to come in. Oh, good lord. Marmol, would, Marmol had some good closeouts, dude. Freaking Dempster was the worst. Like, oh, here comes Dempster. Oh, bye-bye. Four runs later, with we're going into extra innings. It's like, oh, my God. Dempster. Then they put him into full-time rotation. He did, he did better as a starter, I think, than a reliever. Carlos Marmol. Come on, there was a couple other guys in that stretch of years. Soriano, Derek Lee, Dantario, Nismani Thomas, Giovanni Soto. Giovanni Soto. There's a couple of catchers. A couple of good catchers. Sammy, of course. What is this thing? Oh, this is a diamond one. See, I like these. A Sano Diamond Deco. I want a Chris Bryant one of these. I wonder if there's any on eBay yet. He is Minnesota. Michael McManus just set off an IED in this break and said, I am sorry, fellows. Please don't hate. It happens to the best of us, but I'm getting every hit. Ted Lilly. Rizzo's cereal? What the heck is that? I like bootios. We make sure you ain't booty. Man, last pack, guys. I sure hope everybody got some hits. I'm trying to get better at not feeling bad for everybody. It's my job. I can't help it. We all know the risks. <laughs> I just feel bad. Guess I should get over that, huh? Doing what I do. Hey, look, uh, as I was showing this earlier, there's Bad Brad. I want to have him sign these. Not on eBay yet? All right. My birthday's in August. Maybe someone can get me one. What up? Yeah, you missed some more hits for you. Things like this. A Diamond Sano to 99. Another McCutcheon numbered artist proof to 99. He had a Rizzo relic. Not bad. There's three boxes left in that caser. Any goodies in here? Tops, come on, Tops. You got to hook me up with some more stuff. I mean, I thank you for the t-shirts and the hats, but we need, like, some fancy stuff. Does Tops have fancy packs? I swear Tops has fancy packs. I'm going to have him send me like blasters and stuff. Aren't they cool?
They gave it to me today at uh, All Sports. They were like, thanks for uh, spending a quarter million dollars with us last year. And uh, here's your Cubs decals. I said, yes. There's another one. There was four of them. I wanted to show you the other ones, but I don't know where they're at currently. I had, I had, they gave them to Brixen, but I had to. I stole those from my son, basically. Is that bad? They come. They came on a sheet of four. Because all sports sells to you know to card shops, and every week when I go in, I would see them, and I never asked about them. But I guess apparently I was always looking at them. And she goes, "Hey, these are for you. I see you every week. You come in. You're eyeing them up." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah," because <laughs> they're not for sale. They're just displays. It's just displays they have in there of retail stuff. Yo, good night, Kafer. I, I it's nice to see you back. Hope to see you in um you know a lot more baseball stuff. Which we'll be doing. Hey, what up, fellows? Thank you all. Good night. Tomorrow night, I'll do some, um, how about some kings and queens? I got a case of limited basketball I didn't know about. Yeah, tomorrow is a new day. We did all breaks tonight, guys. You guys are just too good to me. I appreciate it. NT case we got done. We did the uh, Diamond Kings 6-box, Diamond Kings 3-box, Divisional, and some Legacies. Yeah, kings and queens in drag tomorrow. I'm going to wear Heather's nightgowns. T. S. B. T. S. B. T. S. B. Rocks. But that would be Top Shelf Rocks. Top Shelf Rocks. How long do they turn on each other? They're on, they got super pop right now, but by end of summer, someone's going to turn on someone. Top shelf rocks. Top shelf rocks. Guys, I went to the flea market this weekend. It was way too cold. I took Brixen. It was he was cold. He was he was grumpy. So we did not stay long at all. I didn't have a chance to really look for stuff. Although the Michael Jordan guy was there, and he said he will bring all of his Michael Jordan stuff next weekend, which is this weekend. <laughs> oh, Star Rocks. Oh, Star Rocks. Jim Johnston does all these songs. His name's Jim Johnston. Does like 95% of the WWE themes.
which is pretty dope. Hey guys, I'm out for the night. I'm gonna upload these videos. Thank you all. I'll be back tomorrow night with kings and queens and whatever else I can muster up. If you didn't know, now you know. I'll get you, McFarlane. Yeah. He'll be here tomorrow night. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He thinks too hard. Good night, JG. McManus. If you smell. What TSB is cooking. Good night, guys.